another day. My nose isn't working. I think this is just how it is now. I had a, a day or two off from this and then it's kind of been bad again. So that's okay. I'm not gonna freak out about it. It's just how my life is gonna be for the next few months. I'm not gonna be able to breathe. And I saw my sister-in-law yesterday who just gave birth to a, her son. He's a week old now and she was like, oh my gosh, the other day I was like breathing through my nose and I was like, <sighs> I'm breathing through my nose. And I was like, oh yeah, this is just how it is. A lot of pregnant women get really bad congestion and I get like claustrophobic when I have it. Anyway, exciting news. The candles at Bath and Body Works are buy to get two free. <laughs> so I'm really hoping I can find time today to go get them uh, because that would make me very happy. And it's the little things in life. And I woke up kind of sad because I am dying to take Flynn to Disneyland. I love Disneyland. You guys know I love Disneyland. Like I'm obsessed. I used to work there. I go any chance I can get. Like, I love Disneyland. I act like a child when I'm there. Like, I think Disneyland is the happiest place on earth. I took Flynn to Disney World when he was one, but he was kind of like, what is this? And now he's at an age where he would love it. And they just decorated for fall. And it's like all pumpkin-y and pretty at Disneyland right now. And like, he would freak out over Cars Land. Like, oh my God. I'm really sad because I saw people go to Disneyland this morning on my social media. And I was like, I want to go to Disneyland. But alas, it looks Looks very crowded and my son is not vaccinated and I want to keep him safe until this panini is over. No Disneyland for us. Plus I would have to be in a wheelchair, which is fine, but that's the only way I could do Disneyland right now is if I was in a wheelchair. It would just make it a little bit harder because I would want to get up and run around and I think my body would break. So anyway, I turned to the camera because I literally had something I wanted to talk to you guys about and then now I don't remember what it was. So that's kind of annoying. When I remember, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, Corey and I are going to do something crazy. <laughs> crazy for us. Any other crazy vlog we're like, today we're doing something crazy. We're setting a pool on fire and we're watching a live goat birth while I get married to my grandma. Um, no, for us, doing something crazy is going to the candle store. I have therapy in an hour and 15 minutes. So I have to be back at this house in an hour and 15 minutes. The mall is like 15 minutes away and I'm very slow. So if I was not pregnant, I know we could, I would zip in there, get a candle and zip out. But I'm so slow right now. So the issue is walking from the car to the candle store in the mall. I don't know if I'm gonna make it back in time, but we're gonna try. We can do it. We can do it. We, do we it. have our pumpkin spice lattes now. All we need is our pumpkin spice candles. Okay, we're here. Oh my gosh. Huge success. You guys, it's not even 2.30, it's 2.27. And we went in there, got our, we got a lot, a lot of candles and hand soaps and hand sanitizer. And it was so fun. You guys, the best day of my whole quarantine. That just goes to show how deprived I am of like any normal human thing. That like going to the candle store, like literally made my day. But yeah, we will definitely make it back in time for therapy. And my therapist is gonna be like, I don't even recognize you, you're so happy. <laughs> I'm just like, I bought candles today! <laughs> Pumpkin candles! So we'll have to do a haul in a little bit and I'll show you everything that we got. Okay, check it out, guys. <gasps> I got a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna go through it quickly. Let's see, first candle we got is the perfect autumn. I'm gonna smell it. Oh, that's a good one. I think this might be my favorite. That one smells really good. It smells like autumn. I don't know, it smells like apples and sweaters. This is cinnamon spice vanilla. That's my favorite. Flight. It smells like cookies. Yeah. yeah. This is Corey's favorite and we call it sugar <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna have to bleep out the D word, but I don't know why we call that. I also got some soaps. I got cactus blossom, which is like one of my favorite scents there. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin and harvest gathering. I don't know what these smell like, but I'm sure they smell better than regular like hand soap, so. We got antibacterial sprays, which I've never seen these before. Uh, this one is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This one is sea salt and citrus and pink peach blossom. So those are nice. I got Flynn his own little turtle hand sanitizer, which is just vanilla, but this way he'll be excited to squirt a little turtle soap on his hands after he goes out and about and touches things he probably shouldn't. All right, we've got a lot of candles. White, balsam, and vanilla. Oh, you picked this one out. Yeah. It smells like a freshly cleansed man. This one is cranberry woods. That one's good. Mm, I 
love her. She smells like scented plastic from my childhood. If I got a doll named like Strawberry Swirl and she had pink hair, she would smell like this. Yes, I want a strawberry swirl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I feel like toys in the 90s had like scents. This one is the Cactus Blossom, which is kind of like a generic, nice like floral scent. Whoa, pumpkin vanilla cream. I don't know what I was thinking with this one. <laughs> Oh, that's making me nauseous. That's too much. That one's like too sweet. Maybe I'll like it once it's like lit and whatever, but pumpkin bonfire. This one's nice. It smells a little smoky, a little ashy, a little like, it smells like the inside of a pumpkin after you've lit it freshly. So it's like- When you mm, carve pumpkins. When you carve pumpkins and then you put your candle in it at first. Yeah. Before good. the mold occurs. I love the mold. What? <laughs> it's fun to see it get all moldy. And when it like shrivels yeah. and it's all. Hello Autumn. This one is everything. It's like, I smell a lot of apple in it. Like apple and like fresh, cold, crisp weather. Look at all these candles and things. So it was very fun. And now I'm gonna go to therapy. I got something. What you got? I got this candle. Can I smell it? Yeah. It smells good. Mmm, that smells so good. Which one are we gonna smell next? The orange one. Okay. And I smell it, Grandma? Sure, I'll smell it. Okay, I'll bring it to you. Oh, okay. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that one? Does it smell good? Yeah, it smells good. Wow, that one smells really nice. Very soft. Ooh, that's really nice. Yeah. How is it? It's good. Yeah. You can't believe this. I can't believe it? Yeah, this. Can I try it? Ooh, that's very nice. This is my favorite. Yeah. So I have to get it. Okay. I think that might be my favorite too. Cranberry one. It's really it's nice. Awesome. Yeah. I try this one and smell this one. I'm just gonna smell that one. He's been smelling these candles for 20 minutes. Actually, this is my favorite. That's your favorite? Yeah. Green. Like Christmas. Like Christmas, yeah. Oh, that yeah. one does smell like Christmas. Yeah. Are you gonna have Daddy smell it? What you got? Can I believe it? <laughs> Ooh, that's really spicy. Oh, it smells good. It smells kind of spicy. <laughs> it smells very good. Oh, like Christmas? Yeah, like Christmas. Oh, awesome. I need to eat this before. Okay, should I smell it? I would try that. I can't smell it. Okay. I think I can smell it. It smells very good. <laughs> and that, this one smells spicy too. Do you think we should light one? You can do this one from my favorite. Yeah, should we light it? Yeah, let's light it. Okay, we're gonna light it. So, tonight's craving is an artichoke. I love artichokes. And a baked potato. So that's what I'm making for dinner right now. But I have to fast tonight. Now, normally, fasting while you're sleeping is not a big deal. and everyone can do it. Uh, that's not something that is easy for me this pregnancy because if I go a couple hours without something in my stomach, I get really nauseous, I get really weak, I get really sick. So I always have like granola bars or crackers or something by my bed so that when I wake up at six with Flynn, I can get something in my tummy right away so I don't feel sick right away. I usually eat something at like midnight before I fall asleep, like a granola bar or something, and then I'll eat a protein bar or like cereal, dry cereal like out of a bag or something in the morning at six and then I'll eat it again at eight, whatever. Well, I have to get my blood drawn tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. That means I have to fast from 9.30 tonight until 9.30 in the morning tomorrow. That's not a big deal. Most people, I could do that easily if I wasn't pregnant, no problem. Uh, but I'm very stressed about it. <laughs> I guess I haven't done that this whole pregnancy. This whole pregnancy, I snack all night, I snack all morning, and I usually eat a big breakfast. Like, I eat a dinner at like 10 p.m. I eat more snacks after, so I'm like, Wah. But I have a few blood tests to get in the morning, and I have um, one that requires me to fast, which is one that checks for bile acid in my blood. The first time I was pregnant, I got cholestasis at the end, which is essentially where your liver leaks like bile into your blood and it can get to the baby sometimes. There is the potential that it can harm your baby. It was really scary when I got it. It causes you to have really itchy hands and feet, but 
that I don't even care about. It's more like you just freak out that your baby's not gonna be okay. So we wanna catch it early if I have it this time. I'm gonna test for it probably a few times this pregnancy and we're starting now. So even though I'm not showing any symptoms or any signs because I had it before, we just wanna be careful and check as early as possible. So I'm getting that test in the morning and that's the one that requires me to fast. And then I'm also getting my gestational diabetes test, which is where you drink a nasty drink and then you sit there for an hour and then they draw your blood. And that one, uh, I'm really nervous about too because everyone always thinks I have gestational diabetes because my babies are always so big. Flynn was really big, these babies are big. And so the first time they thought I had gestational diabetes, I did not. And this time, again, one of my doctors was like, I think you should test for this. So I'm testing for that tomorrow and I'm really hoping that I'm negative for that. And then I'm also testing for an iron deficiency and a vitamin D deficiency to see if we can figure out if I'm anemic because I'm having this like out of breath problem and I was anemic with Flynn. And I think there's a couple more tests. So I'm getting a lot of blood, blood drawn tomorrow, but I'm nervous because I have to fast. So I'm gonna be really hungry and really nauseous and like dizzy because I won't have eaten and I'm getting my blood drawn and then I have to drink this sugary drink and sit there for an hour and then get my blood drawn again. I'm so nervous. I'm gonna like faint or barf. And I barfed today, which I hadn't barfed in a really long time. And today I barfed. Barf is a gross word. Why did I say barf? Like what's a better word than barf? Puke? Throw up, throw up. So a lot of blood tests in the morning. I'm very nervous about all of them. I hope I don't faint or throw up. So I'm having a big meal of baked potato, lots of veggies and artichokes. And then I'm not eating anymore until like 10.45 tomorrow morning. <laughs> No. Also that drink, all these pregnant women are like, oh, this drink is so disgusting. I can't believe I have to drink this. And they're like trying to drink it. And I'm like, it tastes like orange soda. The one I had last time was really good. So I don't know if it's gonna be good again this time, but last time I had it, I was like, this is delicious. It tastes like Fanta. <laughs> I thought it was so good. So anyway, I hope I get the same drink as I got last time because it was delicious. So anyway, that's all. See you guys a little later. We're watching Big Brother. I'm eating my artichokes. So, are artichokes a common food? Do people eat these? Or am I so weird? Um, so this is what it looks like to start. And you peel off the leaves, they look like this. And I dip mine in garlic, aioli, and butter. And then you eat the end of the leaf. And the best part is when you get to the heart. So I'm gonna scrape all this off and you eat this whole, oh my God. It's like unbelievably delicious. It's a lot of work to eat them because there's not a lot of like meat on it. But I love the texture of an artichoke. I think they're so freaking delicious. Mmm. Yum. Delicious. So now, this is what it looks like. I dip it in my aioli, and then I dip it in my butter. That was so freaking good. Do you eat artichokes? How do you eat them? What do you dip them in? I think I'm a weirdo. This is weird. It's so good. Eric said I can't just eat artichokes for dinner, so he made me hard-boiled eggs because he said I have to have protein. I don't want these eggs, but I know I should eat them. They're very hot. I'm gonna eat those in a second. First, um, I wanted to show you guys, these babies move around in my stomach like you would not believe. They're totally insane. But you know, it's been a while since we had a tortilla talk. I'm always kind of filming them kicking around, but I never really get a good kick, but it's like kind of constant that they're doing it. So I got a pretty good one on my phone tonight. I'm gonna show you my baby girl she crazy take a look cute and fun. It's really hard for me to get footage of the little boy moving around. He doesn't move around as much as she does. And when he does move, it's like a quick hit where she's like, <laughs> like kind of all the time. She's easy to get video of her moving because she's just always moving. It's crazy they're already moving around so much. And I am very nervous to see how much they're moving in like a couple months. Cause I feel like I'm gonna see like a face like up against my skin like, there's not gonna be any room in there. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my eggs and then I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna try not to stress about the fact that I'm not gonna eat all night and all morning. That's about all I have to say about that. Um, but I love you guys and thanks for watching. And also one other thing I wanna say is I'm really disappointed in pumpkin patches because <laughs> I love holidays. I always get so excited in September because pumpkin patches start opening up and I'm able to go to a pumpkin patch and Flynn would freaking love a 
pumpkin patch and I know he doesn't remember it from last year. I really want to take him to one and normally they open up around LA around like the first week of September and they're just open for two months but there's like none open anywhere and we looked up my favorite pumpkin patch today and they're not opening till October 1st and I'm just like you guys why are you waiting till October? Like you always open in September. I cannot find a single pumpkin patch open in September and it's really upsetting me because I don't want to have to wait three more weeks. Four more weeks. Three more weeks. I just want to go to a pumpkin patch now. So yeah that's a big problem I'm having <laughs> in my life. But anyway I gotta go. I love you guys. I hope you're having a fabulous day or night whatever time you're watching this and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Oh wait. Yes I'll see you tomorrow. Wait tomorrow's Friday. Do I vlog on Fridays? I don't remember. I'll see you someday. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.